Welcome back, everyone. I got another talking point for you. Today, we are talking about the his tank. Well, more specifically, we are talking about an international version of the his tank that was released in Europe. Now, for the most part, international his tanks look the same as the domestic release. Uh, you'll notice my his tank had white decals there. That's a mail-in variant. Uh, there was also the solid red numbers or the outlined red numbers. Uh, most of them have the solid red numbers. This is a His tank from Brazil, also called the Super Canal Laser. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, as you can see, the stickers are a little different. It's on a black stock instead of a clear plastic. And then there's um, variations in the canopy color across the board. Um, but Throughout South America, the His tank pretty much remained the His tank. Uh, Japan got the His tank as just U.S. overstock, so it's pretty much exactly alike. Uh, some have the white stickers. But for the most part, His tank is a His tank, except in Europe. Now, if you know your history, you know it was Action Force in Europe. It wasn't G.I. Joe. It was a spin-off from their version of the 12-inch G.I. Joe, Action Man and they had their own mythology to go with it. So starting with 1983, we saw their version of Cobra called the Red Shadows. And the Red Shadows had the hyena. The hyena here is a really big departure from the standard His tank with a lot of decals on it that are very different from a US release, except for maybe the little tow hook there. But you can see Different headlights, it's even got tail lights. Uh, we've got the weird red shadows writing on there. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna look up the translation for what that actually means. <laughs> um, you've got like uh, markings there for how many sky strikers or jets it's shot down. Um, the gunner station has a lot more detail to it and the canopy opens to reveal a very tricked out cockpit. Gotta love the padded chair in there, as well as the dials and decals all over the interior, even onto the center console. Now, instead of the Hiss driver that we got over here, they got a repaint of Destro as Red Jackal. Not terribly different from the domestic release as some of the other Action Force repaints got, but still noticeably not the same. Eventually, Palatoy phased out Red Shadows as the enemy and made them turn into their version of Cobra. They had their own unique faction symbol and their own unique backstory. The Cobra Commander was not a uh, used car salesman who rose up in the ranks or a snake man from a lost civilization. He was, in fact, the leader of the old Red Shadows, Baron Ironblood, in a new guise. So that was a nice, interesting transition into the new faction. And along with that came a new hyena. This is the Cobra Hyena. It is a lot similar to a Hiss, but still not quite the same. We've got these nice yellow, white, and red striping. Uh, that actually is a detail that kind of carried across all the Cobra vehicles. And it was uh, mirrored on the Action Force vehicles with a red, white, and blue striping. It was sort of this weird theme that kind of went along with it. Um, H8753 on the back as opposed to the traditional 788 and the front. Uh, some cobra symbols. Again, uh, tail lights. This one's actually on, uh, this one's on backwards. <laughs> and, uh, headlights. This weird spinner thingy in the front. And again, some more targeting of the jets on the computer in the back there. Along with a more elaborately detailed interior. Not as elaborate as the original hyena. It doesn't have the bottom half of the chair, but still more detail than our domestic release. 
Uh, now, they also got the His Tank Driver over here. It's pretty much the same thing as we have. No real changes or surprises to speak of. But still, it's not a His Tank, it's a Hyena. Now, to the untrained eye, the Hyena itself actually has a little bit of a secret. The treads and the gun are not true black. They are a dark gray color. It's actually a carryover from the original Hyena. The Hyena has gray guns and gray treads. Compare this to the plastic of a 1983 Hiss, and you can see it's not the same. That's a fun little detail you really can only see in person or under really harsh lighting. Uh, hopefully I've conveyed it with the photos I'm inserting in this video. Now it's interesting, we have the Red Shadows Hyena and we have the Cobra Hyena. These were packaged in their own different unique boxes. You would be hard pressed to mistake one for the other even without it out of its box. But there's an intermediary version. This one was sold in a Red Shadows box with a little Cobra sticker, the Action Force variant of the Cobra logo, slapped on the cover over the Red Shadow symbol. It still said Hyena and Red Jackal, but it was not. It was this hyena. As you can see, it's got the His Tank driver, but the Red Shadows plastic colors. The stickers are from the new Cobra Hyena. So it's sort of a transitional phase. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think the working theory is that it was Palatoy removing the old stock they may have still produced of the Red Shadows Hyena before moving on to a new run of the Black Hyenas. But because of this, there are actually three Hyenas in the Action Force line, and they each have their own unique look that sets them apart from a traditional Cobra Hiss. Personally, I love it when we get these unique takes on familiar vehicles, and uh, I love seeing them, and I love even more having them in hand, because uh, when I first got into collecting, the Action Force Hyena was one of those first vehicles I learned about as an international variation, and it wasn't until years later I found out about the Cobra versions that there was a Cobra logo version, let alone that there were two Cobra hyenas. So, at least for me, it wasn't necessarily common knowledge, and I wanted to make sure that there's a little bit of a spotlight shown on that, that there are variations in the Action Force line itself worth checking out and worth getting your hands on. Now, as for acquiring the hyenas, I found the Red Shadows version is the easiest to find online, and the Cobra ones are a bit more scarce. And the black one I've actually found is more scarce than the red one. Uh, interesting note, though, when they switched over to the Cobra vehicles, all the stickers for a Cobra vehicle were on one sheet that came with every Cobra vehicle. So you might see a bunch of stickers on a Cobra Hyena that do not belong to the Cobra Hyena because it was a sticker sheet intended for about five different vehicles. It was a similar setup for the Action Force side in that all the Action Force vehicles had their decals on one sheet shared amongst all the packages. So there we have it. Three different his tanks that aren't his tanks. Three different sticker labels. Different drivers. Sometimes. <laughs> and a whole different take on a very familiar vehicle. Uh, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the original Hiss? Do you prefer any of these hyena variants? Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it helps us know that you're actually liking what we're putting out and, you know, might add a little bit of more motivation for us to put out more videos in the future. Not saying we won't, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Thanks for watching this episode of Articulated Points. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'd appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about some of the toys featured in this episode or want to follow us on social media, links are in the description below this video.